Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my hair collection as it makes me just kind of going through with it and seeing anything that I don't want. So I thought, why not make a video? And what that's going to ask, I fell on my thumb, screwed the joint, and screwed a few muscles. But anyway, here we go. So I have everything in a pile in front of me at the moment, along with my little bucket of pots, but we'll go until it's last. So the first two things I have are my exo beauty lash sets these are both five pieces and i have the natural and the dramatics set which these are the dramatics and then these are the naturals i do also have the lash applicator tool from exo beauty i do have the exo beauty lash glue somewhere but i can currently not one that so anyway let's get on to it now you'll see a theme here with exo beauty i love exo beauty makeup so you are gonna see a, a bit of it anyways so first of all i had the um designer brands baby cream now i like this more for a natural day when i don't want to wear a more full full coverage foundation but i still want a a little bit of coverage and I have this in fear I believe the shade things come up next of all I have the Rimmel London lasting finish 25 hour foundation in the shade 100 ivory this was my absolute holy grail if I had any other foundation I would still go for this it was my go-to for so long that I ran out of it and bought a whole new one so this is that then I have and before that became my holy grail, this foundation was actually my holy grail. Which is the Designer Brands Lightweight Oil Free Foundation in the shade 645 Classic Ivory. As you can tell, I've used it quite a bit. Next foundation I have is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation in the shade Porcelain Beige. I don't like to use this as much really because I don't... I find it doesn't sit well on my skin but I still do like it for days where I want a more of a matte coverage foundation and then my last foundation which this is my current obsession is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in shade 2 Natural now to be honest I actually winged the shade a little bit I did the colour match online because I got that's true a testing foundation and which and then the tester the shade from the test foundation that I put until the colour match came up with this shade so and it worked well so yeah I love now this is one of the first foundations where if I put it on my nose it doesn't look crusty or cakey or anything so I love that all right next thing is concealers now I do have a few here a couple of them I am trying to empty which one of them being the Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer. This actually doesn't have much more to go. But I love this. I love this for the time I was using it. I don't use it as much anymore purely because I have other favourites. But yeah. And then I had the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Everyone goes through a phase. I use this more on no makeup makeup days. So some, some days I'll pair it with this or... Some days I'll even just use it alone. The only thing I do not like is the applicator. It's a brush tip applicator. I find because I'm I'm looking into taking makeup clients eventually, I've found I would find that this wouldn't be ideal for a kit. Just that's just my personal opinion. And then I have these two concealers which I love using together at the moment. So this one. Classic, iconic, no, it's raining cream and concealing it in light one chantilly. Chef's kiss. It's got on its own, but I find it doesn't have enough coverage that I like. So some some days I'll just add a l I have used this, but I haven't used it enough. But anyway, this is the uh, Elf Hydrant Camera Concealer in Fair Beige. I love this concealer. It's got a nice big applicator. I love it. But these 
cooking skills together. Right, powders. Well, under eye powder, I have the Mika Max Banana Make Powder. It's a nice under eye setting powder. Enough said. Then, cult classic, everyone will know this, is the Mixed Gender Effects Powder. Now, I have this, this is my like, pale shade, which is NC15. Some days I will use this alone. But some it can be a little bit too light, so I'm looking at getting in C20 soon. But honestly, this paired with the Charlotte Tilbury. Some days I find I don't even need to set the Charlotte Tilbury, but when I want that little bit of extra coverage and just feeling like you know everything's set, I will go in with a Max Studio Fix. And now I know why everybody loves this, right. Bronzers, I have these two. Now, this needs no explanation. But this is my holy grail bronzer. Yes, holy grail status. This is a Maybelline City Bronzer. I believe it's 200 medium cool. I've used it that much. Everything's worn off. Well, this is literally my most favourite bronzer. I'm actually going to have to pick it up again soon because it's at the verge of falling out and broken. And then I have this bronzer which is the Designer Brands Get Glowing Bronzer. Oh, maybe I'm going to get it shot. Yeah, this is Tahiti Sand. Yeah. It's taped up right now. Alright then, loose single like highlighters that aren't in a palette. I'm going to add these in there but in a minute. So I have both Exo Beauty Highlighters in the shade Aurora and Lucent. Aurora needs no explanation. It is literally my all-time favourite highlighter in a single. I would swatch it, but they don't swatch as well. But that is what it looks like there. It's more, yeah, it more picks up more when it's on the skin. Like, buffed in. And then I have Lucent, which is more of a goldier highlight. Which is the top one there. This is more of like a... Aurora is more of like a, sh a lightery champagne pink shade. Honestly, love these both. But if I had to choose one of the Extra Beauty highlight single highlighters, Aurora. Now I do have these little elf size little face palettes that do have highlighters in them. This did have a highlighter in it, but it broke. But anyway, my most favourite highlighter out of them all is actually this watermelon shade right here. I will swatch it for you. That is it. There it is. I don't know how to explain it, but it is my favourite. And then that is the blush, which is next to it there. So this is the little duo in watermelon. Then I have white peach, which is the one with the highlighter missing. That is it on my finger there. And then that is it above loosened. It's not a bad blush. But I do have favourites, which I will show you. Which I will show you in a minute. And then I have Guava. Which is Guava's highlight is more gold gold. So Guava's highlight is there and that's the blush. Not bad. Oh, like a face box actually. It's not a bad one, but yeah. Right. And now my three single blushes. I have the Rimmel Maxi Blush Inside Exposed. My more I actually have the other shade in this, which I believe is Wild Card, is my absolute favourite, but that broke. And I haven't purchased it yet. But this is more of like a nudier blush. It's. I just 
just put that all over my jacket. Anyway, so yeah. And then I have this little essence, blah, 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 essence blush in the shade B Fitting. Which is underneath that rim one there. I like this because it's cheap. I use this for a solid maybe six months straight. It's not a bad blush, but yeah. And then Nars blush in the shade. And the um Yeah, I'm not saying that because I don't want to get demonetized. But you guys know the blush. And that is it just swatched there. So yeah. Now, I'm going to move on to mascaras because the most of what I have to show next is lips. So, I have these five mascaras. First of all, I have the Lash Essence Lash Princess in the volume one. It's one of my favourites. That is the brush there. I really, really like this mascara. And then my other favourite, favourite mascara is the uh, I think this is the Colossal, literally everything is off. But I really like this more fluffier brush. And then I have the, I gave into the hype and brought the Rimmel, not the Rimmel, the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I actually like this, the brush is really flexible. I don't like the formula so much on my top lashes, but I love it on my bottom lashes. This is a random mascara that probably needs to be thrown out. But I haven't yet because it's still got a lot of product in there. Yeah, it's just this random mascara I got in a cheap makeup set a few years ago. But I love this for just all natural, quickly going to the soup bucket type mascara. And I love it on my bottom lashes. And then the mascara I actually don't like. And that is the Wet n Wild Mega Lynx Mascara. Although the wand is nice, I find it flakes really, really easily. Yeah, it is a cheap mascara. This is more cheaper and I like this more. This one, not so much. Alright, now let's get into... Oh, I have two brow products first. First of all is the BYS brow fix. And then the Rimmel... Sorry! <laughs> Maybelline Tattoo Brow. I actually need to get a new one. Or a new pomade because this is actually drying out a bit. And I believe this is the shade Taupe. I've had this for a while. I really need to get a new brow pomade, so I'm probably gonna do that shortly. Oh, I also have a bronzing stick that I never use and called Sunkist from Design Rands. I seriously never use this because I never really cream bronze, but I still keep it anyway. So, yeah, right. Yes, everything is definitely next lip. So first I'm going to talk lip liners. These lip liners are beyond ho holy grail status. I have two open and a spare. As they are that good. And so these are the XO Beauty lip liners in the shade Mari. Hold on. Still got blush on my hand. Honestly, just the most perfect nude colour that goes with any of the lipsticks I have. Hence why I literally have. And it's just my favourite nude even to pair under a clear gloss or something like that. Or even have on its own. Hence why I literally have three of them. And I actually love this formula. I'm actually thinking about getting some more shades soon. Right, and then I have this Pigment Pant Long Wear Lip Liner from Designer Brands. It's kind of similar to Mari, but not really. It is a little bit more creamier, but not by much. And there's actually not much left. And the packaging was kind of crap. But that is it there. It's kind of similar, but not. And then I have this random purple lip liner I found somewhere from Ben Nye. Which is that is it. Hold on, I'll do a bit of a better swatch. It's just it there. I don't own any purple lipsticks, so I actually don't know why I have this. But yes. And then I'm going to go into glosses. 
Right, so I have just the OXX clear lip gloss. It was $3. It's actually kind of my favourite. The applicator is a bit odd though. But it actually works perfect for the lips. So yes. Oh, that's actually a liquid lipstick. And then I have another OXX gloss in the old packaging. And this is barely there. It's kind of a nerdy pink colour. And that is barely there. Right there. And then I have another actually beauty product. I have the Lip Veil in Kisses. Honestly, I love extra beauty products as I said in the start. Right, and that is it kind of there. It's more of like a lip topper. And then I have these two random lip glosses again from a random set. Right, now liquidy type lipsticks. I have this random one, it says it's a lip gloss, but it's actually um it's actually triced down my hat. I don't know, I have no idea where I got it from. I got it a while ago. I don't know, I'm actually just gonna wipe them. Hey, those lip glosses aren't going lip liners aren't going anywhere. So this is that random matte lip gloss there. And then I have a OXX. Liquid lipstick, I believe this is Dusk to Dawn. It's a, it's a nice light nude, which is there. I then have a Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Malibu. All-time favourite liquid lipstick. Which is that there. I then have a Sink liquid lipstick. I do not know what the shade is. So it's kind of like a brownie terracotta shade, and that is it there. I then have a LA Colors one in the shade Smashing. This is a very dark colour for me. It, it looks, I thought it looked lighter in the packaging. That is it there. I have a random purple look somehow I got given from NYX called Sway. I don't know why I still have this, but I thought I could use it somehow, and I have still never used it. That is it there, and then I have two, of course, EXO Beauty ones. So I have the shade Carpe Diem, which is, which is like a per, a perfectly taupey colour, which is right there. And then I have the shade of Serendipity, which is more of a nudie pink type colour. I should not be using my thumb as much as I am right now. But I'm still doing it. And that is it there. Now the clear is off before. And then I have six. Seven six of six. Six of them being XO Beauty. So I'll start with the XO Beauty ones first. I have I'm actually not gonna swatch those, but I have Deja Vu, which is a matte. I have Rescue Me, which is a cream. It's like a pinkishy, slightly nude colour. Then I have Ubuntu, which is a cream light nude. I then have Flow Flame, which is a matte. That's kind of a nudey brown colour. I then have Mudita, I believe it is. It's M-U-D-I-T-A, which is kind of like a pinkishy, rosy colour. And then I have Sorde, which is kind of a brownie colour, which is that right there. And then I have a random essence lipstick in the shade 1, which kind of looks like this. I don't use it because I actually prefer the formula of the X. Beauty lipsticks more. Right, 
Now we'll quickly go into the palettes because this video is taking a while. So first of all, I have the BYS Bronze Face Palette. I bought this a while ago and then not long after I actually bought the Maybelline one. And I really haven't used this since. But I think this would be absolutely lovely for people that take clients. Right, next I have a highlighter palette and this is the Soap X Revolution one. I absolutely love this. I mainly use these two shades here. And then I believe the rest are eyeshadow palettes by one. So I have the makeup, sorry, the Revolution Pro palette in the shade Mirage. These are honestly stunning. Yes, you are leaning on my laptop. Um, yes, absolutely stunning. Love it. And then I have three XO Beauty palettes and one XO Beauty highlighter palette. So the first palette is the uh, XO Beauty Native in Native New Zealand Fauna, Flora and Fauna. It is stunning. I just love it. And then I have her first palette. As you can see, it's had some wear and tear. Absolutely thrashed. But this is the Heaps of Sweets palette, which was her first one with her own brand. And then I have her one and only eyeshadow palette, which she did as her wedding collection. Which looks something like this. I don't use this one as much as what I would like. I love the color story and everything. It's just, I don't reach for it as much. And I really need to. And then I have the Diamond Baby Highlighter Palette, which is also with her wedding collection. And it looks something like this. Right. And then the rest are Morphe palettes. So first of all, I have the 9P Petal Passion Palette from Morphe. This is the only one that isn't a coloration palette. And this is what 9P looks like. And then I have the... Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals Palette. Honestly, this is the palette I mainly go for. And I actually, honestly, mainly just use these two shades here. And it creates my perfect neutral eye look. Right, and then I have the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 1. I'm actually very soon going to be getting the Volume 2. Of course, everyone would have seen this palette by now. I love the neutrals on this. I honestly pair these three together when I'm doing a neutral look and and then everyone's gonna have this Morphe X James Charles. I'm not gonna say enough, everyone's seen it. And then I also have a setting spray here somewhere. I believe. It's just a urban tail liner. And that is my makeup collection done. If you guys have any products you wanna see in a YouTube and the makeup just for anything just listen down below and i will and i'll try and use them but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you again soon okay bye